Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate this new electric conveyor that I just finished for a customer. I actually have two of them that I made for this cust particular customer. Um, Schedule to make delivery next week. But I figured I'd put a little video together for YouTube fans. Uh, these particular conveyors are, are used to move refractory brick inside of lead plants, um, lime plants, and various cement plants. Um, it helps to speed the process up of the install. Easier, a little easier on the labors for moving in and out debris. Uh, these particular conveyors are designed with a 1725 electric 110 motor with a gear reducer which is right around 11 to 1 uh, gear reduction. Gives me a speed about 11, uh, about 1 foot per second, which is plenty fast enough. I also put on, down here is where your power outlet is, where you just take and you plug in a 110 extension cord, which energizes the system. And then I put an, ex, an extra auxiliary plug uh, the where you can plug in either a light or another unit. Uh, what's nice about these units is you can use two of these power heads. Um, they put out enough torque to where you can put one at the beginning of a unit, another one out at a hundred and say 150 feet max is is what they'll do. This particular unit's 10 feet. I make them 10 feet long. Um, Put two of them inside of a rotary kiln at 150 feet. Put regular uh, caster rollers in between them and run one continuous belt from one power head to the other. And you can run 150 feet of brick line in. Uh, works great. Um, I was very impressed with that when we when we done that one. But uh, they, they run good. I got this one energized. I'm just going to run it for a little bit. And you can see that it has that ripper belt style belting system on it. It's a three ply belt. And I use a gripper belt. Uh, I really like the gripper belt style because you can put these conveyor belts up on a 25 degree angle. And these little grips on this belt system, as you can see, uh, help to hold the brick on there. Uh, I don't recommend going over 25, but I've seen them up. Guys getting real close to 30, 35 degree angles with them. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't care to go to that degree. Um, but if anybody has any questions, I do custom make conveyors to satisfy every customer's need. I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. I can make them faster and I can make them stronger. Uh, feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. Thank you.